so for the time being, I'm going to do something a little bit lo uh, more long form. I've been doing a lot of game collections. And that's fine. I like the game collections. We got a lot of good ones. But there's a game that seems really good for my stream. And it's something I've wanted to check out for a couple weeks. And this might take a little while. Not too long, but I'm going to stick with this one for a bit. It's called No Delivery. And... I think it's just a demo. Hang on a minute. Can't capture this thing. There it is. Okay, no delivery. Creepy pizza. God. Uh, why don't we? We don't need a filter. We don't need a film. No delivery is about making the most of your impending doom. You will not always be equipped for the encounters ahead, and escape may be the only viable option. Employees will die, and your progress will and actions are permanent. The game supports an autosave feature. Please do not close the game when the below icon is visible. Okay. I'm going in pretty blind to this game. I only know the name of it and that it was recommended and that it's it's cool. Congratulations! If you're viewing this tape, that means you were recently hired as our latest employee. Before getting started, here are a few fundamental elements of employment all aspiring employees should know. Professionalism. Professionalism deals with how you conduct yourself along among the guests and your peers. Always willing to please, a professional employee knows the best way to navigate social situations. All within policy limits, of course. Competence. Competence refers to the level of technical skill and the ability to follow directions. This ranges from serving orders on time to the rate the dishes are washed. A model employee always gets the deed done, no matter how dirty. Fun! And lastly, fun is the lengths an employee is willing to go to create a family-friendly environment. This includes making the guests feel invited and welcome to dine with us. This is to create the festive, controlled environment we are known for. Now that you understand the fundamental elements of employment, you are ready to tackle anything that comes your way. Speaking of ways, if you ever take a wrong turn anywhere on the premises, please note that it is outside our realm of responsibility. That includes any stroll, investigation, or extermination-related tasks that may occur during said wrong turns. Rest assured, wrong turns pose no danger or threat exclusively to the business. In the unlikely event of an employee termination, all items and funds of the previous employee will be passed on to their replacement. Again, congratulations on making it to the team. What is this? And remember, your safety as an employee is our number one priority. Um... I know people are saying it's FNAF. It could be FNAF-ish. Um... Oh, okay. It's a pizza accident. An unsightly mess blocks your way. Should you clean it up? No brooms in your inventory. Um, oh, okay. Minus 10 HP? For a pizza accident? I've cleaned up... spilt pizza. It didn't... Take my life away. Also, yeah, that was RPG Maker hit. Take a closer look. Yes.
What if the pizza was burning hot? You can wait a minute. You find an open gift box on the floor. Let's look inside. Sticking your hand inside, you feel something pull you in. Fuck. You escape further into the establishment. Huh? Yeah, I see that the back of the character's head has a little pixel. It's a couple pixels. It looks to be some kind of body bag. It twitches ever so slightly. The bag wriggles ever so slightly. It's multiple appendages squirming around. All I can do is escape. Can't escape. Party's over. Huh? Severance fee $50. Another life is claimed, but its halls remain unsatiated. The establishment beckons. All debts must be repaid, but today is not that day. Mortis! Do not disappoint me. You got $50. Okay, security guard, this is an, an me now. Fun 1, liability, bilingual, fear level, chill. I'm, um, hang on a minute. Personnel file. Okay, so, I see. Menu. Items. Skills. I've got a handgun, a taser, and a flashlight. 20 HP. This fucking filter sucks. I want it. Game end. Um, I, dude, this is so fucking weird. I don't. I don't know what how to classify it. You picked up a piece of trash. Probably best to throw it away properly. Put it down the fucking toilet. Yeah, it's- it's rogue-ish. It's got some rogue elements. What floor sign smartly used to cover up messes? Messes that can be cleaned up anyway. Um, little Darkest Dungeon-esque. Trash for green stuff. RPG Maker. <laughs> Bring more soon. Strands of long hair can be found all over the sink. You got Razor. Vending machine is a familiar sight. Take a look. I can buy food. I can buy... I'll buy three pizzas. That is my preferred amount of slices, usually. If they're giant slices, then I go for two. If they're small slices, I go for four. But three pizza? That's usually my preferred amount of pizza. It's just the right amount before you start to feel sick and get pizza sweats. Something is clogging the toilet. Sticking your hand inside, you strangely feel two objects floating around. <laughs> Alright, chat. Which one do you want me to pull out? I see a lot of hard. Okay, here we go. You found the closet key. It's probably browned with rust. Body bag survival guide down here. Personal dossier for the delivery boy position. Probably got lost over time. It contains info on the standards and regulations employees must abide by. Inside is a worn martial arts manual from some new franchise. It was strangely entertaining. Sewer rat style. It's required that all present and future employees in the position know this skill. Ensure stronger employees in the position. 
It's a foldable stool. Now, speaking of stool... A stench flows through the metal passage. It's quite raunchy. Keep going. Nope. Something approaches from the darkness. You can barely make out the shape as it crawls forward. Wow, okay. I'm going to die. I don't have any bullet. I have no... I can't shoot. I have... I can't use anything. All of the skills are grayed out. I should have checked that fucking body bag first. Fucking rest in peace, I guess. The establishment beckons. Waitress, professionalism three, competence zero. <laughs> Fun two, liability two left feet, fear level chill. Well, hey, Bob. Er. Oh, the trash carries over. Someone there? Listen, I know what this looks like. But please, don't cut me loose. I'm still in the middle of... hardening. Just a little bit more and I can go outside. Did Lumpy Touch make this fucking game? I'm born! I'M NOT DONE! Again, I wish there was a way to, like, lower the sound effects, raise the music. Music is great, sound effects are... ...your trip traditional RPG maker loud trash. But, so be it. Again, oh, I have dish throw. Ah, yes. Trash found. Ah. Oh. You got three brooms. Before I go back in there, I'm gonna need to... I need to heal up a bit. Sell trash, buy pizza. Uh -uh. I can clean this up now. 
Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Body tape left over from an investigation a long time ago. Gurgle, gurgle, you are haunted by the drowned waiter, can now be summoned when needed. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Oh no. Something softly grips your leg as you crawl. You start smelling fresh air, the other side might be close. Oh, I made it. <sighs> the one-way passage. Vending machine is a familiar sight. Take a look. Oh, there's batteries. The security guard would have been... ...good with these. The taser would have worked. There's a stack of flashcards behind the desk. They detail different party protocols. Angry guest protocol. In the event a disgruntled a customer begins to cause trouble, control the situation. Find the cause of the issue. Say yes. Serve only substitutes in stock. Congratulations, you've now learned to use subterfuge to avert a messy situation. Wrong order protocol. In the event a guest does not receive what they order, do not attempt to remedy the issue by preparing a correct order. <laughs> Instead, let the guests cool off and immerse themselves in the restaurant environment, and then proceed to serve whatever's in stock. Congratulations, if the guest is still there, they're willing to and able to come back for seconds. If not, that means that they were taken care of. And birthday protocol. Reserved parties like birthdays call for special treatment. Guests must be placed in the auditorium where they will be treated to a special birthday routine by the onstage cast. The song must be performed for the entire duration of the party. Congratulations, you have provided uh, special ad birthday activities for your guests and prevented another incident. It's a mascot animatronic. Listen to its routine. Standard operation requires surfaces clear of foreign contaminants. If you see another one of me, you mind cleaning us up? We'll give you something nice in return. Stack of flashcards behind the desk. They... oh. Does not open from this side. Venue unlocked lobby. You can now end your shift at any telephone. I can make a call. It's the only phone that can make calls to the outside. Doors open only during showtime. <laughs> Where'd he go? Holy shit. This is like a pizza sauce demon. Oh, here's the bathroom. Okay. So, that's been taken care of. It was that red demon. He morphed into the table. You know what? I believe it. Ooh, a guest. Welcome. 
Oh, you're not a customer. Just another one of them schmucks. At least we're not alone tonight. You're the new waitress, huh? Well, I'm part of the show cast. We kind of... We spend our time entertaining the kiddos while you uh, get your hands dirty, so to say. But that's a good thing. I mean... At least you didn't end up like the last guy. Or the guy before him. Or the one before. <laughs> Wonder how long you'll last. I'll stop talking now. Anyway, I'll be around if you need an ear. That's all I can offer, really. Elmo said thank you for joining me. Haha! <laughs> Torture me, Elmo! Oh, that's my worst voice? Worse than Jay Leno? So, Elmo, tell me about it. Do you like to drive? What do you drive? What does a Muppet drive? Hello, Jay. What would Elmo drive? I can't think of a good Muppet related pun. A boxcar? Okay. It's a mascot animatronic. Listen in. Another one of you. Standard operation. Right, right, right. Clean us up. How does one clean. Maybe I don't have the clean ability. Okay, so it's a dossier for the waitress position. Probably got lost over time. Contains info on the standards and regulations employees must abide by. New waitress skill, takeout. It is required that all present and future employees in the position know this skill. Ensure stronger employees in the position. Prizes are fucking trash. That's a good thing in this game, though. Two ammo. I want to know what the fuck was happening at the beginning of the game. Play a game. Wait a minute. It costs one pizza to play a game? Ski. Wrong turn. You took a wrong turn, distracted by the cabinet in front of you. After losing your last game, you notice that your surroundings are not the same as when you first started playing. It's been reported that guests would turn up in different places after playing for a certain time. Rumor has it that those who play too often are moved further and further inside the restaurant. Huh. Oh, here's this thing again. Oh, this is the wrong turn, Central. While playing the game, your environment begins to melt around you. Mortis. At the turn of the century, an ancient evil stalks the shadows and preys on those foolish enough to roam the night. At night. Only one bloodline can stand in its way. Mono, you're up! The Belmondos chat, not the Belmonts. Got it. Ow. 
Ow. Recover a chunk of HP by preparing orders for takeout. Most leftover food is recycled, though. Back to work. Oh, shit. I'm alive. So that pizza delivery boy in the beginning hit a wrong turn. This is the wrong turn segment of the game. While enjoying the game, your environment begins to melt around you. Welcome to the redacted pizzeria training program. Please refer to the module for options. Fun. There is a birthday party being thrown in the auditorium. How many times should the routine birthday show be run? The binary said this is not fun anymore. Oh. Once. You are wrong. The birthday show be run at all times as birthday protocol. Fuck. They're getting more difficult. Oh, there was only one that time. Oh, boy. Uh, competence. A guest has an incredibly large order. They ask, you got all that? What do you do? Try to repeat the order. Wrong. You are wrong. We aim to extend each guest's visit to show the magic of the establishment. This includes wrong order protocols. The fuck? Oh! Right. Please, I cannot run out of dishes. I need these dishes. Got it. Holy fuck. Okay, almost dead. Gonna eat that last pizza. Had one broom left. A replica of one of the animatronics inside. Seeing it here brings some familiarity. Clean it. You missed a spot. HP restored. Aw, oh, man. Wish I didn't eat that pizza now. Oh wait, I had another broom. Almost. Almost there. No brooms in- Ah, damn it, I gotta take damage here. Revisit the robot. I don't know if you can go backwards. How do I summon that ghost? Takeout? Oh, okay. 
Here we go. I'm gonna have to use it. Unless I can get the question right. Professionalism. An angry customer comes up to you. I ordered diet scrum, not regular scrum. But you just ran out of diet scrum. What do you do? Give the guest a regular scrum. You are correct. Great idea to serve the customer regular scrum and say it's diet scrum. Cut corners where it matters. You escape further into the establishment. I did it. I succeeded. The next day... Time to earn some smiles. A group of kids pour arms full of tickets on the desk. They demand the highest value prize for their efforts. Take a closer look at the tickets. You figure there's no possible way they could have accumulated this many tickets that quickly and look closer at one of them. They're fresh, but definitely from the same supplier. You take the tickets and tell the kids to come back next time with tickets they earned. They scatter, but one stays behind. You made a powerful enemy today. Plus one fear level, startled. Best watch your back, son. A machine is reported to be spitting out tickets indiscriminately. Guests are reported to be taking handfuls of the stray tickets and using them for prizes. You're able to grab a good amount of tickets and sell some of it under the table to desperate customers. You got plus ten dollars. <laughs> I'm a good employee. A guest causes a violent commotion after losing a game. They look very cross. Crack knuckles. Step aside. In practiced finesse, you completely crush the challenges set forth by the game and leave your mark as the top score. The guest stands behind you in awe before bowing. Teach me your ways. Easiest ten bucks earned. You got ten dollars. That's how we did it in the old days. A crowd gathers as a kid reaches a high score hitherto undreamt of in one of the machines. They've been there for almost four hours now with no bathroom breaks. The room is getting hot and sticky with the amount of people cheering the young legend on. Turn up the AC. After a few seconds of cool relief, the room blackened as the generator overheated, causing all the machines to lose power. When the lights come back on, the kid was nowhere to be found. Both they and their high score had disappeared altogether. And myth fades into legend. <laughs> <laughs> well-dressed men come in and demand to look inside the arcade cabinets. They quickly flash their badges and force all the guests out of the room. Um. I don't know. What are you doing? That's classified. After the men finish with the cabinets, one of them comes up to you and whispers, If we need you, we'll find you. Still waiting on that phone call. So, the arcade wrong turn has been completed. I see how this works now. Yeah, this game is pretty legit. Let's go back to the arcade. Also, Chad, I just want you to know something. Believed in me. Where? From within your mind. I just wanted you to know that. Oh, what's wrong? You managed to get it out of your head? Not anymore. I'm going to keep some trash. Where was the, um... There's a vending machine that had some stuff in it. If 
Gonna buy five bro eh, six brooms and just a couple more batteries. Yep, a broom vending machine. Only from Japan. I mean, there's some pretty fucking wacky vending machines out there. There's a vending machine that will make you a pizza. Like, on the spot, it will actually combine the ingredients to make you a pizza. The Notorious Crane Game, rumor has it, it's not about skill, but about luck. Wonder who keeps taking home the prizes, then. Sorry, hope you don't mind. I hogged this toilet. Just really need to get this out of my system. Gotta get out of there. I'll get in and get you out if I need to. standards for, um, the mascots. It's required that all present and future employees in the position know the skill, ensure stronger employees in the position. Here for feeding, or... You bring offerings? I just fed a dumpster full of garbage pizza. It's like this game was made for me. Offerings for the dumpster god. Oh no. No, you want more? Oh, shit. You got a business card. Okay, it was worth it. It was worth it. A temporary setback. No more food for now. Eat us so well, we found safety. Ah, phone number. An old business card for trash collection. Call us at 555-68117 for inquiries. I have a feeling this car is a dead end. Or a wrong turn, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's what I meant. Uh, you can't use the dossiers. The car is fine? Okay. Oh, is it that time already? Great, a waitress. Listen, I, uh, just got in, you, you know, from delivering the goods, um, you must be new here, so trust me, it's perfectly normal to park here. Hey, waitress. A co-worker to co-worker. Mind doing me a favor? Could you get me a cheesy bar? Those are the only things that hit the spot nowadays. I got something I know you'll like if you got one on you. The dossier gives skills. Yeah, but I, I can't... I can't use. The, the use button does not work. I think that it's just having it. Hmm. 
There was a door to the right of the car. Well, let me call the number while I'm in here. Five 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 six eight one one seven. You've reached Redacted Collection Department. As of 8X, Collection Department closed its doors and is no longer in operation. Please note we are no longer responsible for materials collection for our business partners. If you're calling for debt collection, rest assured our tracking program automatically wires the money we owe to you directly. You got $100. Thank you for doing business with us. That was an uncomfortable tone. I hear a lawnmower. In, like, in real life. I hear what sounds like a lawnmower in, in real life. And it's 1.30 a.m. Um, is someone coming to murder me with a lawnmower? If so, type 1 in chat. Oh, cool. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's a lot of 1s. Has there ever been, like, a horror movie, um, serial killer? Like, like, um, like Freddy, or Jason, or Michael Myers? That has a lawnmower? Maximum overdrive? What about Dead Alive? I mean, it's different. It's not the... Lawnmower Man. <laughs> Dead Alive, he uses a lawnmower, right? I can't unlock that. I don't have a cheesy bar. It's called Wacko, and it sucks. Okay, so I gotta find a cheesy bar, and I have to find an old key. Oh, ski ball. Easy to play, hard to master. Oh. Crying now. <laughs> Faint shuddering can be heard behind the door. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this fight. Ah. 
Damn it. Oh, God damn it, you missed so much. Powerful. Oh, yeah, I got to eat pizza and I can get dishes. Can be done. Can be beaten. Summon ghosts. I, I don't have the ability to summon ghosts. Takeout just gives me HP, but it doesn't give me trash and uh, dishes. It's okay, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. Got double dishes, I can use the good dish move now. Almost dead. Yeah! Hundred dollars found. So that was an optional fight. Uh, that door is locked where the light was. If you weren't here a moment ago. Yeah, we already did this. Oh, Cheesy Bar. Last time I saw one was in the arcade, though. They're bad, but they're not that bad, you know? Okay, there's cheesy bars in the arcade somewhere. Just buy a little bit of pizza. Couldn't go through these doors. They only open during short, uh, sure cam. They only open during showtime. Yes. Okay, so there's a cheesy bar in the arcade. We know that for a fact. And outside, there's something new that popped up, apparently. There's a rope leading to the roof now in the corner. Oh, let me look and see if there's a cheesy bar behind the counter. No, no cheesy bars here. <laughs> this machine still seems to have the manufacturer's sticker intact. Call the maintenance hotline for more details. 555-73563. 555-73563. Five six three. Seven three five six three. You've reached redacted coin up services. Coin up services closed its doors. Any injuries sustained by our machines is subject to our non-liability policy outlined in the non-binding contracts with our business partners. If you are calling for debt collection, rest assured our tracking program automatically wires the money we owe you directly. It's another hundred bucks.
bullet. I see no cheesy bars. By arcade, it might mean the wrong turn. Maybe. What, what were you saying? There was a, a thing leading to the roof? A rope leading to the roof? You mean a gutter? Back to the toilet. Check the trash in the arcade. I can only give the trash trash. You have to clock out and try a different employee. Buy from the trash? Wait, did you actually see a way to do that? I see, uh, okay. So yeah, there is... It says buy, but you can't get up there. Just go in the wrong turn. Why? Well, I don't, I don't want to do that. Do a dungeon run? Is that a guarantee? I mean, has anyone played this before? Maybe in the room beside the first bathroom. I've seen it. It shows in rewards. The random, uh, wrong turn is randomized. So maybe I have to do that. I have to actually do that to get the fuck what I need. Well, this is different. Wrong turn. Fuck! You found yourself on the outside of the restaurant. The alleys surrounding the pizzeria are notorious among guests and employees alike as things or what remains of things that are lost inside often find their way out here. Management has long since abandoned the idea to clean up the areas customers don't see. This game is not, is not good, says a member of chat. This is a short one. Yeah, there's only a couple. Abandoned trash bag, it twitches ever so slightly. The bag wriggles ever so slightly. It's a shame I don't have more dishes. Time to take out the trash. Fuck! This waitress has no accuracy. Competence is, yeah, the competence is zero. Back to work, trash found. Maybe I'll just use a just a little bit of pizza right real quick. Yeah, just a little bit of pizza. Looks like to be some kind of body bag of twitches ever so slightly. 
Don't let me out. I'm not hardened yet. Oh, shit. Got a little scary for a second there. I'm your brother! Whoa! Whoa! Just getting those hits in consistently. Come on. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Back to work, trash found. Keep going. What the fuck is this? drive through menu a strange sight considering it's outside the pizzeria. May I take your order? Thank you. Come again. Not just yet. May I take your order? Look at the menu. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was gonna, like, be insta-death. Night shift over. Good job. The next day... Time to earn some smiles. A kid holding an open drink runs by and trips near a trash bin, causing it to tip over. They get back up and dart away, leaving a sticky mess behind. Put a wet floor sign over it. it seems like the wet floor signs are a good deterrent against running children. The parents are pleased. You got plus five dollars. Have a nice day! Parents are complaining that all the trash cans are full. They demand that you take their trash right now. Refuse. They seem visibly taken aback by your defiance. Then we'll just take our business elsewhere. Little do they know this is the only pizzeria for miles. Well, excuse me! A kid comes up to you and asks, Why are the trash bags dancing in the bathroom? Are they any good? The kid jumps around excitedly. They're doing the worm. They just keep doing it. The kid then gets on the floor and does... It's their best to mimic what they saw. After a few sloppy attempts, their parents drag them off the floor and back to their table. The rumors then spread. Should I fire my employee? No. So, I don't know what to do now to get the, um, the cheesy stick. Or whatever the fuck that thing is. You do get a new character. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hang on a second. One second, chat. You get the... Oh, I see how to get the cheesy bar. You get it by increasing the difficulty of the arcade through manager's console, ending your shift, then surviving it. That's exactly what I had to do. Okay, hang on one second, chat. I'll be right with you. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I mean, this isn't going to be all of Sunday stream, but I'd like to at least get the cheesy bar. Um, this is surprisingly good. I may have to return to this at some point, but let's, um, let's try the wrong turn. Keep going. I open the present and it's a fucking battle. A lone gift box on the floor. Sticking your hand inside, you feel something. You got three dishes. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Should have brought more 
damn brooms. The monster. Spurned by his creator, the abomination seeks sanctuary among the settlements of mankind. But when man and monster clash, who is the true abomination? Thank you for the raid. Who, Asai? Like the berry? Thank you. Appreciate it. Wait, 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 wait. Acai like the pyramid scheme? Alright, <laughs> just checking. The clone hero dude? Wait, have they, um... Acai, have you played Red Fox before? I may have seen your work. I don't know. I have no memory of this place. Oh, fuck. It's, it doesn't need to be that loud. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use my dishes. Does Red Fox do shows? We don't. We don't do live shows at the moment. I mean, we could when we're, you know, in our 50s. We'll do a reunion tour, like the Eagles. Why not? Why well, wouldn't have any time to stream if we did shows? Honestly, I'd be fucking dead every time I streamed for one. And also, the other guys in the band have, like, pretty busy lives. Like... You know, wives. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Do a goodbye tour. Do 20 goodbye tours. Every sh every live show we ever do will be a goodbye tour. Angry customer comes to you. Okay, I know. Oh, fuck. I know the answer to that question. I just... Do you know what happened? I pressed the button too goddamn quickly. Oh, shit. Damn it. God damn it. To waste a lot of dishes to do that, but still going. Eat one more pizza. Well, I just wanted to skip the previous line of dialogue, and then it went to the next line of dialogue. Okay, so... Creative enemy design here. to heal now. No. Now I wish to heal. Well, 
Well, remember, this game is in demo form. Someone said the game could use more work. It, it can, but it's still a demo. I just wasted a broom that I would, uh, could have used. I thought I had more brooms than I actually did. But, yeah, no, I, I actually really like this game, and the, uh, trash pizza aesthetic definitely fits the stream. In that sense, I like it. One trash, one dish. Okay. No, I wanna I wanna answer questions. I don't wanna fight Nosferatu. God damn it. Hit no? Well, what happens if you say no? I guess we'll have to find out. I figure it would just take you back and then you have to, you know, say yes. You don't have to say yes to every option you come across. I I'm learning that. But we'll see. We'll see if it actually does anything. If I was the security guard, I'd be probably hitting a lot more than this. Come on, you fucker! Two? Two for a dish throw? My God. Okay. Um, someone said something in chat. Maybe I don't like this because it followed Final Fantasy Nine yesterday. Fair enough. I mean, that's a... I don't, I, don't, I don't quite... I mean, that was yesterday. But, I'll say this. You don't have to like every stream I do. Just remember that. You're not contractually obligated to like all of the streams that are happening on this channel. If it's turn-based related, then I guess I can understand that. Too much turn-based... Uh, I need my trash, sorry. It's like when Captain Kirk is like, I NEED MY PAIN! What does God want with a starship? Ah, I don't have a room. That's okay, I have full health anyway. Almost there. Okay, I gotta take some damage here. Fine. Everything's good. Everything is good. I don't understand this. Body tape left over from the investigation. Oh shit. The drowned waiter joins the party. Didn't. Wait, but didn't. Huh? Ste. Stees. You decide to play one more game. Can you see me? The way I see you? I need to know. Oh, I actually have the Drowned Waiter in the party now. Sewer Rat style, yeah! Literally hurl your stomach contents towards a target, a powerful move, but won't make you feel so good.
Wow, he just gave me a seizure. having another party member. Gotta be real careful. Gonna be fine. Gonna be just fine. Pearl. Vomit. Good vom. Good vom. Oh, got a status effect. Vinny, I hope there's a ball pit in this game and an enemy you can vomit, uh, an enemy you can fight in it. Preferably a clown. Oh, okay. You make sure the machine is truly dead as you hear the synthesized voice get quieter and quieter. The machine attempts to reach out to you, begging you to plug it back in. It begins bargaining, slowly deleting its victim's data to preserve itself. File by file, the machine sheds its humanity. File by file, it becomes less afraid. Cheesy bar acquired. Okay. I don't know how much more of the game is left in the demo. I think this might be kind of close to the end of it. But we'll see. Yeah, this ended up being incredibly enjoyable. And not at all what I was expecting. And again, I don't know what the fuck I was expecting at all. Broom. People were telling me to pick up that pizza on the table, but it's just decoration. It's, um, decoration pizza. What, what do they call that jewelry? It's, um, show jewelry. It's, it's, uh, costume jewelry. Costume pizza. Ring pops. <laughs> what? I have a pizza cushion. You can see me get the pizza cushion at the, uh, panel. From Too Many Games. And... You know, I have it. I could sit on it. Yeah, I yeeted the fuck out of it. I still have it. It's over there. It's still in the plastic. I haven't done much with it. I don't know what to do with it. Hey, waitress. Coworker to coworker. Yep, I got your cheesy bar. Man, are those hard to find. Thanks for bringing one. Here, you can have this. Showtime ticket. I'd like a little privacy. Okay. You can have your privacy. Your privacy. And now we get to do a show? We get to see a show? Oh. What's the name of this game? No delivery. Use the showtime ticket. Here we go. <laughs> oh. You're not a child. I've seen many like you over the years. To endure such conditions for mere pay, you have my respect. But for trying to unearth the history within these walls, you have my pity. 
you would call this place is cursed. You would say this place is cursed, but it is those of your ilk that bring ruin to this establishment. Mm. Only a fool would dare take advantage of that. These curtains are stained with the blood of those fools. Mm. Regardless, fool or not, we are all trapped inside the maw of this beast. Mm. And there is no delivery. Management is not responsible or liable in any manner for accidents, injuries, fire, stolen or lost items, persons, property damage, or death during the making of viewing of this program. All participants depicted are actual paid employees of Stadoni Pizza, where properly compensated for the events and were properly compensated for the events that transpired. Thank you for playing. Man, we only got to see a couple characters. We didn't get a chance to see the mascot. We barely got to see the security guard. Shit. So, I mean, maybe there's a reason for you to play it. Like, it's it's actually really good. I really, really enjoyed that. Unique gameplay. Um, trashy pizza theme. You know, cool ideas and characters and music. Could use some lower sound effects. It returns. Vinny, will you play this in full when it comes out? Maybe. Oh, I have no idea when this game comes out. I didn't know much about it until today. So, I mean, I've heard of it. I've had it downloaded, but I, I've not played it. I haven't researched it until just now. But it is good. I'll probably end up playing it again when it comes out. Try to do um, a follow up, but yeah, that's um, that's good stuff. Thank you for watching that. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit longer form for Sunday, but I feel like Sunday needed some long form stuff because it's just been collection after collection after collection. So why don't we do a collection? <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break, and then there will be itch.io collection itch.io irregularities, if you will. Okay. Stick around. And I will return. <laughs>